So, last class uh, I have discussed about the plate lo pile load test and previous classes I have discussed how to determine the load carrying capacity of pile under compressive load by using static formula. So, today I will discuss first uh, about the dynamic formula by which uh, we can also determine the pile load carrying capacity of driven piles. Because piles are uh, driven piles are applied uh, hammer blows by which it is it is driven into the soil and that based on that uh, hammer weight, height of fall and the amount of penetration, we can also determine the load carrying capacity of the pile. So, the first of, uh, formula that or the method that I will discuss is the engineering news record formula or ENR. So, these are called the dynamic pile formula and so as I mentioned, so this is a particular pile driven setup. So, here this is the hammer which is applied, this hammer is, uh, hammer blow is applied on the pile to drive this pile into the soil. So, this is for the driven pile and the height of the free fall and the weight of the hammer blow, hammer that is used to determine the load carrying capacity of the pile. So, first uh, this expression where it is assume that the hammer efficiency is 100 percent. So, that means the energy uh, input is equal to work done. So, there is no energy loss is assumed. So, this is S is the amount of penetration S, S dash is the theoretical penetration. Now, what is theoretical penetration? Now, you can see that there is a term this S dash which is the theoretical uh, set and then S plus C. So, when we are applying hammer blow on the pile, so theoretically that we, we would know that this much of uh, penetration will happen. So, that is called the theoretical penetration, but actually that much of penetration is not occurred due to some energy loss because when you are applying the hammer on a pile, so there is a possibility that the energy that we are assuming it is uh, for, uh, is this energy input is equal to the work done and based on that we, we know that much of penetration will occur, but that will not occur due to the some energy loss. So, that is why we will get the actual penetration A s is equal to the theoretical penetration minus C. C is the empirical factor allowing the redu reduction of the theoretical set due to the energy loss. So, that means that the amount of energy that are supposed to transfer is actually not fully transferred. So, there is just some amount of losses because we are applying hammer blows on the pile. So, this may uh, uh, create some losses of energy. So, because of that the actual theoretical penetration will not occur. So, the, uh, the, uh, the, the real penetration that will occur is less than that. So, S is that real penetration. Uh, for the power blow that means when we are applying a blow there will be a penetration or the amount of penetration of the pile into the soil. So, that is the real set or the penetration power blow and C is the empirical factor allowing reduction of the theoretical set due to the losses. So, that is why the actual actual uh, our uh, equation is the amount of uh, hammer weight into the free fall that will be equal to the load carrying capacity of the pile into the penetration because this is the energy input uh, input and this is the work done. So, work done is W into H and the weight of uh, load carrying capacity of the pile into the penetration theoretical uh, set is the uh, that will equal if there is uh, hammer efficiency is uh, 100 percent. But so that is why ultimately that we will get the um, this is the ultimate load of the pile, but allowable load will be if I divide it with the factor of safety. So, from here we can write that Q ultimate is W into H divided by S dash 
Okay. So, S dash is a C S plus C. So, this will be W H divided by S plus C. So, the allowable will be if we apply factor of safety into the ultimate. So, the factor of safety generally is taken as 6. So, this is the total formula. If we use this formula, we can get the allowable load carrying capacity of the pile. So, now for different cases, so if I use different hammer, so then this uh, we can use the different expression. So, for the drop hammer, this is the expression where the C value is 2.5. Now, for as the F as I mentioned generally is, it is taken as 6. Now, single acting stream hammer, so these are different hammers. So, single acting stream hammers where this is A C is, point, uh, C is 0.25 and for the double acting hammer, so this is one another expression is used A into P where A is the effective area of the piston in centimeter square and P is the mean effective stream pressure which is kg per centimeter square. So, these are the because we are opting the stream. So, that is the effective mean stream pressure. Now, one thing uh, you should remember that these are the empirical uh, these are the uh, uh, this is the expression where the actual uh, unit you have to use. So, remember that W is kg and free fall of hammer is centimeter, area is centimeter square, pressure is kg per centimeter square and set is centimeter per blow, centimeter per blow. Generally, the average penetration of last 5 blows for the drop hammer and 20 blows of stream hammer are considered as the S value. So, the S value is the we take the total penetration of last 5 blows and then take the average of the those uh, 5 blows penetration or the set to calculate the S for drop hammer and for the single uh, uh, or for the stream hammers, we consider the last 20 blows penetration average as the S value. So, now uh, I will solve one example problem which is that a 250 millimeter diameter pile. So, this is 250 millimeter diameter pile was driven with a drop hammer of weight 2200 kg and having a free fall of 1.5 meter. The total penetration of the pile recorded in the last 5 blows were 30 millimeter. Determine the safe pile load using E N R. Okay? So, that method that I have discussed. So, remember that here the if you go back to that uh, uh, equation that we will use the drop hammer. So, we will use this expression W H divided by 6 S plus 2.5 and W is in kg, H is in centimeter and S is in centimeter per blow. So, if I for the drop hammer if I use this expression then we can write that Q Q safe or Q allowable that is equal to this value is equal to W H divided by 6 S plus 2.5 this is for draw hammer. Okay. So, W is here it is in kg. So, 2200 kg H is in centimeter as I mentioned, but here it is given meter. So, in centimeter it will be 10 to the power 2 centimeter. Then S value is the average of last 5 blows. So, here the total penetration is 30 millimeter. So, average of light last, last 5 blows will be 30 millimeter divided by 5 that is equal to 6 millimeter, but this is also 
in centimeter. So, S will be 0 0.6 centimeter per blow. Okay. So, if I put this value, then it will be W is 2200, H is 1.5 into 10 to the power 2 divided by 6, X is 0 0.6. Okay, then 2.5. So, remember that you have to very careful about the unit. So, the, the way it is been expressed, you have to use the same unit when you are putting the values in the equation. So, that is coming out to be your 1774.5. Kg. Okay. So, that is the load carrying capacity of the pile, allowable load carrying capacity of the pile. Now, if you convert it to uh, kilo Newton, then this kg, you multiply it 9.81. So, that will give you the in Newton and if you divide it, it by 1000, then this will give you in kilo Newton. So, if you kg multiply it with g 9.81, the unit is Newton, then divide it with the 1000, it will give you kilo Newton. So, the ultimately load carrying capacity of the pile is 74 kilo Newton. So, at this is the allowable load carrying capacity of the pile 174 kilo Newton. Okay. Similarly, for others hammer also, you can determine the load carrying capacity of the pile. The next uh, formula is the modified Healy formula. So, where the actual energy delivered is not equal to the energy used. The actual energy delivered is the ac energy used plus the energy loss. So, here some energy loss is also incorporated. The so expression which is provided is W into H. So, this small h is again the way free fall height and there is two efficiency factor. Okay? So, there are two efficiency factors. So, one efficiency factor is the efficiency of the blow that represent the ratio of energy after impact to striking energy of arm. So, that means, the efficiency, this efficiency will calculate based on that when you are applying the hammer blow on a pile, there is a possibility this, this pile can damage. So, the, those efficiency or those factors are incorporated in this efficiency factor. And another one, the efficiency H, which is the hammer efficiency, because we are assume in the previous one, we assume that there is the 100 percent transfer of the efficiency for the hammer. But here, in this case, we will assume that there will not be 100 percent transfer, there will be some amount of the energy loss. Okay, so, that is why your hammer efficiency will consider and set is the uh, the penetration per blow in centimeter and <coughs> C is the total elastic compression. So, C has three parts C 1, C 2 and C 3. So, let me explain one by one the every term and how we will determine the every term here. So, weight of hammer and the free fall are how we can determine that uh, we know that if uh, we should know these uh, two things. Then the efficiency for the first efficiency that will determine by using this expression. Okay? So, this is the eta and eta h. Okay? So, eta is the hammer efficiency and eta is the efficiency of blow that represent the ratio of energy after impacting to striking energy of arm. Okay? So, how we will calculate this? If my weight of hammer is greater than P into E. What is E? E is the coefficient of restitution of material under impact and ranging from 0 to 1. 
okay or you can take for uh, average value is that means 0.5 so what is that so that means the coefficient of restitution of the material under impact means that you are applying impact on a pile so that pile has some cushion or a helmet so you are applying a imp uh, impact on a pile so there is a possibility this pile can damage so that is the effect this is the coefficient of restitution so uh, for the uh, for the material under impact so it ranges from 0 to 1 so depending upon the hammer so average value is 0 0.5 so depending upon the hammer which hammer we are using we can take uh, this value okay so now if my weight is greater than p into e then the eta value will get from this equation now if the weight of hammer is less than the p is the the weight of the pile okay with helmet on any other uh, things that is used uh, i will explain what is helmet and other things so but this is the total weight of the pile including these accessories okay so that means if your weight of the hammer is greater than p into e then we will use this expression if weight of hammer is less than p into e we will use this expression okay so now how i will calculate that next efficiency or this c1 so as i mentioned that my c c value is the summation of c1 plus c2 plus c3 c are this c1 c2 c3 are the three elastic compression so first c1 what is that it is the temporary elastic compression of a dolly or the packing what is that i will explain now you can see that when there is a pile this is the pile hammer system so if, if you see this portion so on the pile there is a pile cushion above that there is helmet then above that there is hammer cushion okay so if all these things are used then you have to use this second expression the first expression is that so c1 calculator where driving is with 2.5 centimeter three cushion only on pile head okay so that means here if only the pile cushion is used and the amount is 2.5 centimeter then you use this first equation but if that pile cushion along with helmet and the uh, that hammer cushion all are used that is that there is a dolly this dolly is that uh, here this 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 cushion okay above the helmet so this dolly is used then uh, dolly is up to 60 centimeter is used and the pile cushion is 7.5 centimeter thick then you will use this expression second one okay because these cushions are applied to protect this as i mentioned that we have to i mean depending up we are applying a hammer blow on a pile material so there is a possibility of damage so we can protect those damage but still we have considered those damage in the equation and then the c2 is the temporary elastic compression of the pile okay so this is the elastic compression you apply the hammer blow your pile material will compress so that is the c2 and c3 is the temporary elastic compression of the soil so when you apply the hammer blow the soil will also compress so that three first one is the temporary elastic compression of the packing or the dolly that means if the cushion is there so all these things will compress so that compression is c1 and c2 is the pile material compression and c3 is the soil compression below the tip of the pile so this way we can calculate the c1 c2 and c3 and finally the c and then the eta h hammer efficiency for different hammer drop hammer it is one single acting uh, hammer it is 0 0.7 to 85 double acting steam hammer it is 0 0.85 and diesel hammer it is one so that means 
all the expressions we will get, we will get C1, C2, C3. I have discussed S is the penetration power blow that, that will be measured, W is the weight of the pile, H is the free fall of the weight of the, W is the weight of the hammer, H is the free fall of the hammer, eta H is the pile efficiency, uh, hammer efficiency that I will get from this table, hammer efficiency and the eta another efficiency we will get from these two expressions depending upon which condition is, is actually existing during the pile uh, driving. Okay, so, now, uh, I will solve one uh, problem, the a 400 millimeter diameter pile and 12 millimeter long was driven by double acting hammer, okay, double acting hammer and total mass is 2200 kg, height of fall again as 1.5 meter, the driving was done with 2.5 centimeter cushion only. So, that means only the pile cushion 2.5 centimeter is applied. The average penetration of last 5 blows was 3 millimeter per blow. In the previous problem, it was total uh, penetration of power last 5 blow, but here it is the average penetration of the last 5 blows was 3 millimeter uh, power blow and or you can say this is the average penetration of the last blows or uh, that is 3 millimeter power blow and determine the safe pile load. Okay? Unit weight of concrete is taken 24 kilo Newton. So, now uh, so we have to use this expression and first of all the uh, as it is only 2.5 centimeter thick cushion is used. So, for the C1 you use the first expression and C2 and C3 only one expression. So, we will use this expression, this one and this one. Okay? And uh, this is the double acting hammer. So, the eta H value is 0 0.85. Okay? And uh, the, now, we will check which equation we will use the weight of hammer is greater than P into E and for this double acting hammer E value is will be taken as 0 0.5. Okay? So, uh, finally, uh, if I solve this uh, problem that I am solving this problem. Okay? So, first one the solution of this problem, the weight of hammer is weight of hammer is 2200 into 9.81 divided by 1000. So, it is 2200 kg, then if I multiply it, it will be Newton, then divided by 1000. So, it will be kilo Newton. This is 21.6 kilo Newton. And one thing that I want to uh, mention that if you look at this uh, unit that is important here, the here weight of hammer is in ton. Okay? Uh, then uh, H value is in centimeter, S is in centimeter and then uh, so we have to convert them in that way. Okay? So, so weight of hammer is 2 to, so this is, is in ton. So, ultimately 21.6 kilo Newton means 2.16 ton. Okay? So, 2.16 ton is the weight of the hammer. Then the pile weight P is the weight of pile. So, that is pi d square 0.4 divided by 4 into the length. Length is 12 meter into the unit weight which is 24. Okay? So, volume in unit weight. So, weight of the pile is 36.2 kilo Newton. 
so that is equal to 3.62 ton okay so now my for double acting hammer E value is 0.5. Okay. So the P into E that is equal to 3.62 into 0.5 that is 1.81 ton. So we can write so w is greater than p into e because w is 2.16 and p into e is 1.81 so w is greater than p into e so we will use for the eta we will use for this expression this efficiency w plus p e square divided by w plus e. So, this expression I will use because that is the first expression when if w is greater than p into e. So, the w is 2.16, p is 3.62 and e is 0.5 square divided by 2.16 plus 3.62 that is equal to 0.53 okay and from the table we got that hammer efficiency for double acting hammer is 0.85 from the table so that is 0.85 now we will use the cu1 cu1 as only 2.5 centimeter cushion is used so, we will use the first expression. So, C 1 is 1.77 into Q u divided by A. Okay? And C 2 is equal to 0.675 into Q u divided by A. And C 3 is equal to 3.55 into q u divided by a okay so where a is the area of the pile cross section okay if it is uniform pile so i can write that my c c is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so, that is equal to 1.77 plus ah, this is q u into l. Okay? This is q u into l. So, this will be 0 0.675 into l plus 3.55 into q u divided by a. So, we are taking q u divided by a outside. So, this is the expression. So, finally, I can write that 1.77 plus 0.675 l is the length of the pile which is 12 meter. So, l is the length of the pile. Okay, into 12 plus 3.55 q u divided by a. Now, a is equal to pi d square by 4. Okay. So, now if I put these things, the finally that c value is, you put the a value is here, finally c value is coming out to be point zero one zero seven q u it is in ton okay it is in ton 
So, now I can write C by 2 is equal to point zero zero five three four q u u ok so the so see i got this expression eta eta h i know so next one is that the final q u u is w into h eta eta h divided by s by plus c by 2 ok so w weight of hammer is 2.16 this is in ton then uh, free fall is 1.5 meter but we have to express it in centimeter so it will be 1.5 into 10 to the power 2 in centimeter then this is 0 0.85 and 1 is 0.53 ok because this is 0 0.85 and this is 0 0.53 and then the s s is the average penetration is given 3 millimeter but it is in centimeter you have to express so s value is 0 0.3 centimeter ok because your s is 3 millimeter so this is 0 0.3 centimeter ok and then plus this is 0 0.00534 q u ok so in the previous uh, expression so this q is in ton ok it, this total expression is not so uh, that is correct this q is in ton we are expressing but uh, that you should mention that this is the total this q is in ton ok remember that this now uh, i can write this is the q expression so if i simplify this expression then you will get that point 3 q u plus 0 0.00534 q u square equal to 1.46 into 10 to the power 2. If I further simplify it, it will be q u square plus 56.2 q u u minus 273.3 into 10 to the power 2 that is equal to 0. So, now this, this equation you solve then finally you will get so we can solve by this expression that is minus b plus minus root over a square minus 4 uh, root over 4 uh, s 4 uh, b square root over 4 a c divided by twice a ok. So, minus b plus minus b square because this is a b c minus 4 a c divided by twice a. So, we can write this one minus b means b is this coefficient. So, 56.2 then plus minus root over b square means 56.2 whole square minus a c that means a value is 1 and c value is minus 273.3 into 10 to the power 2 divided by twice a, a is 1. Okay. So, if I take this value, the positive values, so it will come out 31396. Okay. So, it will be one, uh, we are taking 
only the positive value negative values you are not considering because that will not exist so that is that will give you uh, uh, sorry it is in uh, first uh, this uh, value is 139.6 ton so this if you solve this one this q u is 139.6 ton and that is 1396 kilo newton so this is ultimate so allowable will be in the previous formula already the factor of safety 6 was applied so directly we are getting allowable but here if i get the allowable we have to multiply we have to divide it by the factor of safety 2.5 so, the key allowable is q u by 2.5. So, this is equal to 1396 divided by 2.5. So, that is 58.4 kilo Newton. So, the final expression is 558.4 is the allowable bearing capacity or the load carrying capacity of the pile. So, in this class I have discussed two uh, formula by which we can two dynamic formula by which we can determine the load carrying capacity of the pile, but still the static formulas are more for, um, reliable or static uh, equations are more reliable compared to this dynamic equation. So, but still if you have this hammer uh, blows penetration all these information available for the driven pile you can use this expression to determine the load carrying capacity of the uh, pile in absence of the soil data ok but if you have the soil data so i will recommend so you use the static equation that i have uh, explained or uh, in the first method ok so because uh, static equations are more reliable compared to the dynamic equation so, in the next class, I will discuss the fourth and the last method that to determine the pile load carrying capacity by using the penetration data or the field test data like SPT or SCPT. Thank you.